Hey guys, listen, I did this video last night and then it was too long, so I was like, no. And then I did it today, but it was like a different topic. But then my voice got all screwed up, so hopefully it won't do that because I was like saying stuff. Um, but then it didn't like catch up fast enough, so I would be like, I'm so cold. I actually said that. And then it would be like, at the, like my mouth would move like, then it would be like, I'm so cold. It's weird. Uh, so today I thought I would talk to you guys about books. Books I've read and books that I'm going to read. So, if you guys don't know, um, I've been getting really, really into books. I don't have Believe Here, which is uh, Eric Lee Grand, like, about his life story. So, that's the only thing. In <laughs> like, it's really shining me out. Anyways, but I don't have Believe there. Uh, really good book, though. I don't know where it is, actually. Uh, I think it's... Uh, I'm not sure. Anyways, so, I don't have Believe there, but... Talk about other books. I'm in Reading Lab, and Reading Lab... If you guys don't know, it's a class that you read books and then you also increase your reading like speed and it helps you uh, with reading and everything, which I think is really good because I have dyslexia so I need work on that. But um, with that, I've had a chance to read some really great books so I'm going to tell you guys about this. And I forgot one book. Be right back. Okay, so I've gotten all these books except for two. Um, the two I got at Barnes and Nobles, and then the rest I got at Target. Target has really good deals on books, so I recommend that, but, um, Barnes and Nobles is also good, but I like going to Target because I could get other stuff other than books, too. So, anyways, the first one, I just finished reading this, actually. Well, didn't, I finished reading this, like, a week or two ago. Uh, but, uh, I averagely, I, like, average read, I finished The Fault in Our Stars in two days or three. Three days, it's Wednesday. Amazing book. I'll get to that though, but I pretty much balance one or two books every week. So if you guys want to, uh, because I only read on the weekdays, but since it's gonna be spring break, I think I'm gonna read a lot more. Um, so Perks Me Wallflower, I think it's really good. If you guys don't know what it is, it's, it's a movie too with Emma Stone and Logan Lerman. Uh, I don't know how to say his last name, but he, he fine. Anyways, um, so. It's a really, really good movie, and I wanted to read the book, so I did, and I think it's really, really good. Uh, I like how it's not... I do like the books that have description, but I think if it, this one had description, like, every single time, like, every day what he was doing, I think that it wouldn't be that good. Uh, so, it's pretty much like a journal entry kind of book, and I, I like it. Uh, like I said, he skips some days and everything. Which I like because if you go day after day, it's like nothing is really exciting. But he doesn't, and I like it. So I really like this book. I give all my books I've actually read so far 5 out of 5. I seriously love every book I get usually. So, um, yeah, get this book. I really recommend it. And the movie, I recommend that because it's my favorite movie. It's so good. Uh, and then Until I Say Goodbye, this is actually a book I bought recently. Uh, and then it says Until I Say Goodbye, My Year of Living with Joy. And I'm reading it at you right now. I'm in chapter two, I believe, or something like that. I don't really know. I didn't bookmark it. Uh, it's kind of bad. Uh, but uh, it's really good book so far. It's kind of starting out dry. That's the only thing. Uh, so pretty much she has a disease. And I saw that and I was like, I want this book. Uh, I don't know why. I just Disease books, like, draw me in, I guess. Um, and I, like got it and then I found out she was 44 years old so I was like eh, that might be a little like sketchy because I like when teens have diseases I don't know why guys I'm just like that um so it's kind of dry at first but I feel like it's gonna catch up like I have this feeling so hopefully it will but so far it is okay but you can't judge a book by its beginning really because the juiciest is in the center. I made that up. I don't even know if that's a quote. I don't think it is. Uh, that's a horrible quote if it's a quote. But, um, yeah. I'm at the beginning, so I couldn't say anything. I'm probably, like, this far in or something. So, I just started reading, actually, tonight. But, yeah. Good book so far. Like I said. Oh, I shouldn't leave these on my computer. Um, next book is Go Ask Alice, and I'm gonna read this, actually, after I'm done reading Until I Say Goodbye, which I think I'm gonna be done with that, um, in spring break, and I'm gonna read that on the airplane tomorrow. Uh, but Go Ask Alice, I'm pretty sure, like, it's a true story, because it's by anonymous, unless they just do that to sell more. I don't know, but it's about a 15-year-old girl, at least that's why I read on iTunes. Because I was looking at iTunes. Um, but, 
She uh, has an LSD and a game, well, a party game, and she then she gets hooked. So I just wanted to read it. I thought it would be good. And I just learned about drugs and uh, health, so I was like, oh, cool. Okay, uh, so next book is called Blacklight. I just spit. Okay, the next book is called Blacklight, and this is from the makers of the Saw franchise, and I did not see that till I bought it. And then it also, um, inside, I was like, oh, he's just trying to find his parents, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, this seems like a really good book. And then the book cover, I'm like, draw me any more towards it. Uh, but this book really confuses me, so I'm going to have to reread it. I mean, I'm only, like, in this far. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Okay, I'm only in that far. But it's already confusing the crap on me. So I reread Grace, which I'll show you soon. And I got, like, so much better, so I'm going to reread this book. But it's really confusing so far, so can't really sit, rate it or anything. But my perspective, even though it's confusing, is a good book. But I can't rate it like five out something stars. Well, no, something out five stars. So, but uh, it's not a friendly book if you guys are wondering, because I think he's a killer. I don't know. Okay, like I said, I'm confused about this book. Uh, next book, Fault in the Stars. Like I said, I finished this today amazing amazing book i cannot even put words into my mouth how good the freaking ending was oh my gosh i mean sad book but it's also amazing oh my gosh okay i'm just gonna read you the description because whenever i try to describe it it's so hard okay so despite the tumor uh despite the tumor shrinking medical miracle that has bought her a few years hazel has never been anything but terminal her final chapter inscribed upon diagnosis but when a gorgeous plot twist named augustus Wa Wa waters and so i wasn't looking at the page um suddenly appears at cancer kids support group hazel's story is about to be completely rewritten so that's what i'm going to leave you with but i give this five out of five stars guys this book is amazing john green oh my gosh i i want to read looking for alaska so bad my friend says it's amazing too and like that's weird because i was reading this when she was reading looking for alaska and then she was like, okay it was flip flop but yeah i want to read looking for alaska so bad so i'm really happy with that book totally totally recommend it it's amazing the next book is timekeeper and this is another one of those confusing books that i just don't really know how to describe and um the description's long that description is really short that's why i read it to you but pretty much uh it's about the first like time clock first clock ever invented uh and then father time but then he gets trapped into like a cave uh and like he's like why did you save me because all these people were about to die he's like why did you save me he's like this is not a save this is a punishment and then he spends like a really really long time in the cave and then he's like okay the only way you could be like free as a bird um is like not roam around the world but like your soul will be free is if you show uh two people like there's more to earth than like time no more to life not earth uh than time i'm pretty sure that's how i describe it i don't know i thought it was really good i got this at target guys um it was such a freaking good book. I give this five out of five stars. And again, I loved it because I love the format of it. Um, because like you read two pages in like two minutes and you feel like you're so smart and you get it done in like, I got this done in a week, which is actually a long time, but, um, you feel like you get everything done so freaking fast and I love it. So this is by Mitch Albin or something. Yeah. Right here. I'm sorry. I haven't been saying the names, but. Hopefully you can find it with me showing you the cover and everything. I'm sorry. My books are falling. And then the last book I have to show you is Grace. And this is the book I actually had to reread. What's with Barnes and Nobles? Gotta reread the books. But, um, I'll read you the description because it's another hard book to describe. But, yeah, it was really confusing at first. And then when I read it the second time, I got it. And I think it's a really, really good book. And I give it five out of five stars again. Like I said, I'm not picky. And I usually like the books I pick out. Okay, Grace was brought up to be an angel, uh, a her, I'm so bad, <laughs> the green two people. Okay, Grace was brought up to be an angel, a her, uh, her, okay, so pretty much, Grace was brought up to be an angel, a uh, death by suicide bomb, but she refuses to die for the cause, I'm sorry, I just stuttered so much, uh, and now Grace is on the run, daring to dream of freedom, so that's all I'm going to read you, but... 
pretty much about that, and they live, like, with a dictator and everything, but, like, no one really knows he's a dictator outside of their country or wherever, country, city. Yeah, country, um, so she's on the run, because the people she actually, um, she was, like, born to be a suicide bomber, they're actually trying to, like, stop him, but she doesn't believe in, like, stopping, um, like, people with suicide bombing, she, I think she says she, it, like, doesn't really have effect or something. I don't know. It says something like that in the chat book, I want to say. I don't want to say any false things about it. But yeah, uh, pretty much she's on the run. And it, it takes place on a train, but they tell stories. And I think it's a really good book. So you guys should check this out. So pretty much that's it. I know this was kind of long too. I want to reframe it up uh, against that. But it was actually the same time as my one last night. But hopefully you guys like that and you check out some of these books. And if you have any book suggestions please in the comments below i would love to read it except i want to tell you guys i do not like the he said she said she said what i see her outfit i don't like those kind of books um like i don't like pretty little liars kind of books you know what i'm saying uh so i like mystery i know like people argue like pretty little liars is mystery i know it's also drama people uh but i i like disease books obviously i could tell and then um I don't know. I like those kind of subtle, but then they have, like, not gory books. What is it? It's a big plot, but, like, it doesn't turn into something humongous. I don't, it's so hard to describe it. Okay, if you've ever read any one of those books, you know what I'm talking about, hopefully. Uh, but, yeah, with that being said, that is Look Into Liz's Love number eight. Uh, so, I hope you guys like this, and if you have any look into Liz's life requests, please leave the comments below. I would love to do them, because, you know, you're my viewers. I want to please you. Okay. I'm gonna go, so talk to you later, and bye!